one NFL player, but a car covered in solid gold. Another player, but an armored military vehicle. Your stupidly expensive cars, NFL players own. And first, we got Lamar Jackson, who not only spent 100 k on his first car, just driving it, almost got him kicked out of football. When Lamar got drafted to the NFL, there were only two things on his mind. Become the fastest player on the field and the fastest player on the road. So once he started becoming a star, he hit the dealership to cop his dream car, an all-black Mercedes. But its $100,000 price tag wasn't the expensive part. His car almost cost him his career. Lamar hopped in his new Mercedes and went 0 to 100 real quick. Cause after all, he didn't spend over 100k to drive the speed limit. So, just to flex, he hit the freeway, sped up to 105 miles an hour, and posted it on his Instagram story. But once the world saw this, football fans went ballistic. Even NFL legends criticized Lamar. He's doing 105 miles per hour. You definitely cannot do that. So eventually Lamar apologized and hasn't bought a single car since. But his $100,000 Mercedes is literally the cheapest car in this video. One NFL player buys cars that ain't even out yet. Another player's car almost killed him. And don't even get me started on Antonio Brown's cars, man. But before we get to those, let's level up to somebody who paid triple what Lamar did, Miles Garrett, where one of his cars went so viral, the entire NFL copied him. Not only does this car look crazy, completely blacked out with butterfly doors, Miles can whip his McLaren 200 miles an hour. So once a video of him revving his supercar topped 100,000 views, other NFL players needed a McLaren of their own. Earl Thomas made sure he copied Miles exactly. He bought himself an all black version and let Miles know what's good with a pic of him sitting on the roof. But Cooper Cup did his McLaren shopping a little different. So he made sure his McLaren looked like something straight out of Fast and Furious. Cooper copped his with a custom wrap. But right after the purchase, it went so viral on Facebook that when Antonio Brown saw it, not only did he cop a yellow version of his own, Mance really made his own Instagram post. It's showing the vibe. Yeah, dude loves his McLaren. He can't even step out of it when it's getting washed. But hey, I don't blame him. Whips like these cost $350,000. And even with a price tag like that, these cars can't compete with what Marshawn Lynch has got because his cars are so expensive, he literally paid for security just to make sure nobody can park by them. Marshawn's collection started when he copped a plain Jane Jeep Wrangler. Uh, yeah, but we're talking about a dude making millions. So once he started getting clowned, he took his whip to a whole new level. Just this upgrade cost $50,000. He got this thing resprayed in his favorite colors, black and green. He autographed the inside. And just so you know what type of mode he's in, Marshawn's whip goes beast mode. Just like his nickname with a custom logo. But come on now, just a Jeep? I see every Instagram thought with these. Besides, this thing only goes 112 miles an hour. Marshawn can damn near run faster than that. So for a whip that can go double the speed, he spent quadruple the price. Marshawn really went Oreo McFlurry on him with an all-white Lamborghini Aventador. Now this custom paint job's crazy, but they ain't even the weird part. It's what Marshawn does with the car. Not only did he give his car a rim job, every place he pulls up in it, he steps out and puts up velvet rope just so you can't park next to him. But hey, when a car costs 375k, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And with a $465,000 collection, if Marshawn's doing all that, I just wonder what Jalen Ramsey be doing. Cause this man's collection is worth double. See, we're talking about a dude who literally pulled up to minicamp in a Brinks truck. And I swear, Jalen used every cent in those duffel bags to switch whips like he switches fits. No, literally, he cops cars just to match what he's wearing. When Jalen made it to the Super Bowl, he not only copped a custom suit in Rams colors, he spent another 10 bands painting his Porsche yellow and blue. You, if you look good, you feel good. Feel good, you play good. 
Yeah. And Jalen must have been feeling pretty good, man. Because not only was he the best dressed, a $100,000 car is literally the cheapest one in his collection. Recently, Jalen fell so in love with another brand, he spent over 600 k Because Jalen didn't just cop one Rolls Royce, he copped two. His first came white. He got it customized with a black stripe. And also, slapped on a body kit. With the upgrade, his Rolls Royce Cullinan cost 400 k But listen, Jalen's not only about his rolls, he's about his bank rolls. So he just had to blow another bag. Jalen hopped in his Cullinan, whipped to the dealership, and spent another 400 on something that looks like it belongs in the military. Yeah. Completely wrapped in army green with rims to match, Jalen couldn't live without having two completely custom Rolls Royce Cullinans. His car collection brings up $910,000. And now I see why when Jalen's car shopping spree made its way all over the internet, Patrick Mahomes must have taken notes. Because not only did he cop his own Rolls Royce, Mahomes made sure his was on another level. Yeah, Mahomes is really whipping like that. You'd think an all-white Rolls Royce that cost 400 k would be his favorite. But that was only his first car. After he bought it, he developed a car-buying addiction. Because his collection's worth over a million dollars. But see, Mahomes ain't always selfish with his car-buying addiction. Because recently, he felt his wife deserved a special gift. You know, something a little black something a little red and well goes 205 miles an hour damn ain't no way mahomes only bought this for his girl just look at this thing but uh after mahomes saw his wife flex his quarter million dollar truck on her instagram mahomes went out and copped his most prized possession talking about something that costs double and it's something that only legends own like gordon ramsay and gucci mane i'm talking about a car so special it's the fastest one that ferrari has ever made mahomes ferrari super fast is super insane and that's why it cost him over 400k now after all mahomes and his girl they're not in competition and that's why mahomes spent another 400k on a ferrari for both of them this time a ferrari spider mahomes collection is worth 1.4 million dollars so let's just hope he ain't driving his cars like antonio brown because his cars nearly got him arrested see antonio got his first expensive whip completely murdered in all black but with 500 horsepower you think he copped this for its looks nah it literally got him in a high-speed chase video of A.B. being pulled over after police say he was going more than 100 miles an hour. <sighs> Only A.B., man. But a $300 ticket? I mean, that's nothing. Compared to his Porsche's price tag, 160 k But let's just be real for a second. If he's doing all of that in a whip that costs that, and it's his cheapest car, what else has this dude got in his collection? Well, a lime green Ferrari, an all red Rolls Royce Cullinan. Mance even has McLaren so legendary, NBA players film it. Oh man, AB pulled up in a McLaren? Whole lot of money, whole, whole lot of money. But hey, I'll blame dude for recording. Cause anytime AB pulls up in any car, it damn near makes the news. Hi, right, take a look at this thing. Brown driving up, that is a black and yellow Rolls Royce. Now, I'm sure he sold both those Rolls Royces. I mean, he ain't never played for the Steelers or any NFL team ever again. So even though his car collections worth over 1.5 million, unless he somehow learns how to rap, he might want to sell his cars before it's too late. And listen, AB shouldn't only be worried about the money, because once another NFL wide receiver heard about AB's collection, he just had to show him who's more legendary on the field and in the streets. And what Odell Beckham drives came straight out of video games. Something he knows better than everybody else is car customization. Odell's first car was a Mercedes AMG. And on God, he must love this whip more than football, because he had it completely completely revamped three times. At first, he got a resprayed matte black with red rims. But eventually, Odell hit up his boys at DreamWorks to make him and his dad twins. Odell kept his car a 
similar color scheme, but added a little bit of texture to the paint. And to let everybody know he's the biggest hype beast on the planet, dude really got custom rims and a surround system with the Supreme logo. That's something only Odell would do. But see, he didn't want to be driving a car like this in the streets alone. So right after he drove it off the lot, Odell surprised his dad with a birthday present. Like father, like son. Matching cars? I mean, you'd think Odell could never switch it up. But Odell's built different. Because even though he was playing for the Browns, he went red. Odell made sure his Mercedes could be seen by anybody and customized the Benz so much, it cost another 100000 on top of the original 100000 But see, Odell's love for Supreme didn't stop there, and neither did his car buying addiction. So to make sure he could drive over 200 miles an hour, he spent another 200 k This time, he went lime with a green Lamborghini Huracan. And we all know how badly Odell needs his validation, so he posted pics to let his fans know he's living supreme but a two hundred thousand dollar lambo we're talking about a dude who wears two hundred thousand dollar watches he can't just get flexed on by his own jewelry so he had to upgrade and there's one brand odell loves more than supreme rolls royce with a copper pop-up emblem copper door handles copper interior accents and copper rims odell was acting different when he came up with this concept his all-white custom rolls royce cost him a three $375,000 bag. God damn. DreamWorks will make the dream work. And that's why eventually, Odell had it customized again. This time, with an orange and black paint job and a custom hood emblem of himself. But there's one final car in Odell's garage that tops everything. And well, this one might have gave Odell his ego. Because when paparazzi followed him down the street and even asked about his silver Ferrari F12, all he could say was, I like the Ferrari right here. Uh, yeah. I'd probably do the same if I copped a Rari for 400k. Now, okay, Odell's collection's crazy. I mean, it costs 1.6 million. But all of his cars are what you can buy if you win one Super Bowl. How about a man who won seven? Well, Tom Brady's collection is worth more than everything in this video so far combined. Brady's been known to have it all. I mean, he's so bored with his money, he's been trying to buy cars that ain't even out yet. And I don't blame him. Brady's cheapest car is something that most people can only dream of. With 600 horsepower and can go 0 to 60, faster than Brady's old slow ass can get out the pocket, he copped himself an all red Audi R8 for 165k. And I'm starting to think that's Brady's favorite color, because he spent even more on another red whip. This time, a Ferrari 458. But hey, anyone with 250k just laying around could buy this. But Brady's next whip matches his jersey number. We're talking about a car so rare, it's only owned by 12 people. Over the years, Brady's been cashing, dashing, and speeding fast in his Aston. And because he created so much attention for the brand, they literally wanted to collab with him and release special edition versions of their cars. With custom TB12 badging, an ultramarine blue and black exterior, a dark knight black interior, they instantly sold out for 360k each. And see, Brady might have a few of his own Astons in his garage. Like the one he got transformed into a highlighter. But listen, up to this point, Brady's collection only racked up a 775k tab. To be this high on the list, you gotta have some pretty special cars. And not only was Brady exposed for trying to buy cars that ain't even out yet, he's got one final car that cost over $3 million. He just needed a car so exclusive, there's a year-long wait list. Yeah, Brady went black. So there's no coming back. A Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. Three million dollars for this. Damn. Brady's car collection cost over 3.7 million. But one NFL player's cars cost more than money. They nearly cost him his life. Cam Newton's cars weren't always bad. In fact, his first whip belongs in a jewelry store. On the inside, it's got his jersey number and initials on a custom steering wheel with diamond style stitching. And on the outside, he not only got the car blacked out, the car's covered in 24 karat gold. 
Yeah, this solid gold cutlass cost him 225,000. But for real, when you're a player like Cam, living life in the fast lane, sometimes life comes at you fast. December 9, 2014, a day Cam should have started differently but he hopped in his Dodge pickup truck and sped to the arena. Now this was a route he'd taken hundreds of times, but this time he wasn't in control. Cam not only collided with another car, he flipped multiple times and suffered devastating back injuries. So he was rushed to the hospital. Cam knew that day could have been his last, so all he could do was post the wreck on Instagram and thank God he was still alive. But to be honest, the fact that Cam was able to walk away from the accident is worth more than any car in any NFL player's garage. Cause life is the most valuable car you can drive.